That one's Tahitian vanilla bean dipped in salted caramel milk chocolate and oh, rolled pretzels. Boom, get away, that get away. One. That's yeah. our most popular oh bar right God. now. Get away. Yeah. That's the most popular you, bar. Oh, you can get it at oh. supermarkets if, you know, everyone else eats your ice cream, you can find it. Oh. Well, <sighs> Natasha Case from uh, Cool House, you're the founder. Uh, is there any bacon in any of your ice cream? Uh, there is, there's brown oh. butter candy. Well, not in, not in one of these, but we do make a famous signature brown butter candied bacon ice cream. We also have a fried chicken and waffle ice cream. We have so crazy what? ice cream flavors. Wow. Yeah. And so wow. this is what makes Cool House so unique, Yes, right? we're really known for our unique ingredients and unique flavors. Uh, we like mm. to make things from scratch and you know, using the simplest possible, kind of the dairy, the organic quality, but we like to be really adventurous and push the envelope with our ice cream. Well, how did you take your idea from an idea into the success that it is today? You know, we just started off like really in the kitchen from scratch, learning how to do everything, and then we just kind of developed these recipes and um, using you know unique ingredients or sourcing things locally, which really helped kind of build the brand. But for us, it was getting a truck in 2009, launching it at the Coachella Valley Music Festival, and then we just grew from there. We now have 11 trucks oh in my four God. cities. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Wait, Five wait. in LA. Oh my gosh! Wait. How how <laughs> many packages of bacon do you have to go through to get this right? Where you go, not nah, too much bacon, not enough bacon. You know, bacon in quite there. a bit, but that's it's it's really stressful just quality control and taste testing all day. It's really yeah. hard for me to do, so I have to force myself. <laughs> I'd like to help. Yeah. I'd like I, to I throw myself onto the food plate, if you will, and I'll help you out with that. All right, well, Anytime. speaking, I'm going to help you out, but we're going to show uh, a tape of how you actually started this this morning. So uh, here's a little tape, and we'll take Perfect. A so please go ahead and talk mm. us through this. All right, there's my ingredients. I'm pouring my two cups of milk into a uh, pan on high, and then I'm going to also pour my cream. We do recommend organic dairy. Going all the way in there. Now um, I have a, I have brown sugar, light brown sugar, which I'm stirring in. I only put in half of the brown sugar total. Separately in a bowl, I have eight egg yolks, and then I'm going to get those in there with the remaining brown sugar, and stir that to a smooth consistency. Now going back to my pan, I'm just stirring that all together, making sure it's coming together. Light boil. Now, when this is at a light boil, this is called tempering the eggs. This is extremely important. I'm slowly rising the temperature of the eggs so they don't become scrambled eggs ice cream. No one wants that. So I stir that together, get a nice smooth texture, and that goes back in to my pan, now on uh, low heat. Okay. And then that kind of all comes together. And you stirring, have to leave it on stirring. for about two yes. minutes. Until and to, yeah, to 165 degrees. That's what you're really aiming for. And then you take it off the heat and chill that, and you get a custard. Beautiful. Which is what we have right here. How long do you have to chill it for? We say overnight, I mean, minimum five to six hours. You have to have your patience with ice cream, which is hard to do. Mm, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Everyone wants it. to eat it all right away. Oh. That down. It's, the custard is great. Oh. This is based for things oh. like brulee and Look pudding. Jesse's got I mean, all Jessie's. over her. It's no fun if it's not. You got the chocolate <laughs> one too, so that's yes, really, you know, we're setting you up there. Uh, so, so we're going to make dirty, I love the name, dirty mint uh, um, ice cream or a chocolate chip ice yeah, cream. Yeah, dirty mint chip. This is one of our signature wow. flavors. 3% okay. of all what our What makes sales. it dirty? So we got our fresh mint, which is, <laughs> yeah, it all over the it fell on the ground and we put it in, you know. that? Dirty. I you know, know, we like to keep clean and dirty, you know? Okay. Um, so we have our fresh mint leaves. We do recommend organic. Um, that gives it mu much more like earthy tea-like mint flavor as opposed to a sweet toothpaste mint you get from oil or extract. And then we have not only our light brown sugar in the base, which normally we actually use granulated sugar, but we also are going to add dark brown sugar when we start churning so That gives it. it that kind of crunchy, dirty taste. Exactly. Like, yeah, Almost like, like a mojito or yeah. like a tea. Oh, exactly. Okay, um, so how do we start? Yeah, I'll show you how to do it. So we're going to get our ice cream maker on. I do recommend, you know, you want to get this canister in there, frozen at least 24 hours. When you shake it, it should be totally still, the gel inside. Okay. And I also recommend chilling the paddle, which is that white piece in there. Um, you are supposed to process the ice cream according to manufacturer's instructions, but this is the one we recommend in the book, which is the okay. Cuisinart. It's very affordable, easy to find, comes in cool colors, although white is very chic as well. So we're going to go ahead and pour our custard in. Yes. I'll just do it, I guess. Oh, please, you know? go ahead, just do it. There we yeah. go. So that's all going in there. Now, is that cold or is it? Yes, it's chilled. So everything's chilled. You want to take it, this comes out of the fridge, the canister, which is churning, and the paddle can go in the freezer. So it's all coming out. Wow. Nice and, and slow. Is just eggs and sugar, is that what custard is? Yeah. Mm. Just, yeah. Milk, cream, eggs, um, and the sugar. Now, you'll notice um, that it's not, I'm not filling it up all the way to the top because these machines, what they're essentially doing is putting air in. So it is gonna rise a lot more than what you see now. Um, the next step, so you wanna be my sous chef today? Yeah. I mean, it's really fun. I'll learn how to Go do ahead that. and put the, uh, the mint fresh in there. Mint. Exactly. Fresh mint. Oh. Look, I, expert. Wow. Okay. Um, and you wanna chop that really finely so that it really diffuses. And the fresh mint will only get tastier over time. It infuses like you would infuse like a, an alcohol or. Um, those are, oh, oh. 
I know it's, it's you want to jump to the top, but it's very challenging. Uh, I'm you're on time out. You're on Cole House time out. Okay. So next you is the dark brown problem. sugar. Dark brown we, sugar. We have a problem. <laughs> have ice cream. There's more ice cream coming out of oh. the freezer in a second. <laughs> oh. Emergency. Okay. We have an ice cream truck for that. Mm. Uh, and a pinch of the kosher Here. salt as well. A pinch. Yeah. We, we like everything to be a little sweet and salty. You'll, the bars were a little salty, right? We dipped them in salted chocolate, so that keeps you hooked and wanting more. So, and it's good that you were tempted to do this. The reason that we don't is that while it's still custard and not very frozen, those would just sink to the bottom. And oh. you know, there's worse things that could happen in the world, but we want to make the best possible ice cream. Then we're cool house, so we're you know we're pros at this. So when do you put those? in? Uh, so those are going to go in when this is more like soft serve texture. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, so Makes we're going to give sense. that a minute. Yeah. Okay. So you know we're going to. That's kind of going to churn and it's pretty cold so it's happening already but we are just going to kind of hold that for now. I'm going into the freezer to get what you I made this morning. I think that's a great idea. Let's, yes. Let's oh, <laughs> look at there. Love it. All right. Oh. Oh. Wait do you guys taste this. This is unbelievable. Yeah. What I love about it is you can taste that fresh mint. There's no artificial flavors yeah. in here. Yes. Taste exactly. Yes. It's, it's a really different taste that you exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's, um, oh yeah, I've, this came out of that yeah. directly and then into the fridge. exactly. This How, is once yeah. that's done churning. Um, How many flavors of ice cream do you have? We have a hundred plus oh. ice creams, um, and then we also have oh, fifteen plus cookies. cookies in our book, which you can see here. We have recipes yeah. for cakes, marshmallows, artisan hot chocolate. It's beyond you know just an ice cream book. Mm. It has a lot that. to offer. 